Hello and welcome back to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa Channel 408. So we just had Gidoni in the building with us via Zoom, sorry, um, in case you missed that. But we have another special guest uh, who is also a Big Brother Niger finalist, ex Big Brother Niger housemates. And that person is Shei Awolowo. He is a fellow math and actor, TV host, producer, humanitarian, history enthusiast, social media influencer, researcher, multi-dimensional business developer, and recently, or like I mentioned, Big Brother Niger housemates and finalist, becoming one of the choice youths, breaking a lot of records, and currently an ambassador of one org. He's also a graduate with bachelor's degree in psychology, so you can understand why he always plays mind games with us. <laughs> and he's also played a major role in TV commercials, movies, soap operas, and also known for creative interpretations of his roles, and he's good with command of English and the Yoruba language. She is passionate about educating the Nigerian youths on the importance of embracing cultural values, which earned him the Royal African Award given by the Oni of Ife. Please welcome with me, She Awolowo. Hey, Cabo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Paolo! <laughs> What's good, man? How you good. doing? Bro? How's it going? Good to it's have you on the now. show. I'm good. I'm Gucci. I'm good. I don't, I don't know if we should give... He, he, he needs to speak some Yoruba. What's Gucci? I don't know. <laughs> How do you say thank you for I'm having I'm me? Move, move, move. In fact, oh, I'm chilling, girl. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I should expose the, the, the background story to having you on the show, but we, we thank God that you actually embraced us with your presence today. Um, I, just, I want to touch on really quickly um, how you yeah. have been, obviously, with being um, an ex-TV star. That in, in itself is a different kind of uh, bargain. And we've heard Gidoni's take, so it'll be unfair not to hear yours as well. Okay, well, uh, I'm not going to lie. It was all new coming out of the house, mm. different expectations, demanding fans and all of that. But... Thankfully, I've always said I had one of the best support systems known to man. My family has been second to none. And I also have a girl that can never be matched, uh, hardly matched by anybody. Okay. They, were there for me throughout. <laughs> they made sure that I get, got myself back on track. It was tough, I'm not going to lie. Thin line between normalcy and depression, you know. Mm, wow. But we are, you know, we're, we're on top of it now. We're getting ourselves, because I'll say literally, I just got myself back properly during the COVID lockdown because hmm. that's when I was able to spend enough time with my family and, you know, close associates. So that was when I really got myself back. But the minute we got out of the house, it was just, boom, work here. Hmm. They're coming here. They need you hmm. there. They need you to do this here. Wow. It was until the lockdown that I was able to get myself hmm. properly. Hmm. And, you know, gradually, you know, everything is getting back to normalcy properly. All right, Shay. Basically, right. Um, I'm, th this is yeah. coming as as news to me that um, you know you were. It was a thin line between depression and being you. You know, mm. we did. This is new to a whole lot of us. But um, at the end of the day, I'm privy to certain information about you and certain things about your personality because I've known you since childhood. No bragging. Yet. Yes. I'm just saying bragging. it. Mm. But, but, but I've, I've known you for a while. But one thing that has been one thing that has remained constant with you, even while I. Was watching you, I was like, but boy, you'll change. Like, you're still the same guy. You mm -hmm. understand? The same guy I knew 10 years ago, 15 years ago, is the same guy I saw in Big Brother Niger. How have you been able to remain true to yourself, mm -hmm. even when you're, you're on screen and off screen? Mm -hmm. What's the strategy, bro? There's no strategy. It's just a matter of staying true to yourself and following through with that principle. Mm -hmm. you, can't afford, you can't compromise your sanity or yourself for another person because mm. if you're trying to imbibe other people into your own character, you tend to break down afterwards. Mm. It's like, I'll say, taking a strategy into the Big Brother house. The minute you miss one line or one part of your plan, everything crumbles because mm. that's not who you originally are. But when you are just you, you get to enjoy the... You, there are no limits on who you can be when you are yourself. Mm. You can become whatever you want to be. You can literally balance things out. You will be honest. Just be honest to yourself. That is, that's the real thing. Because, mm. like I said, my support system are people that will tell me, why are you lying to yourself? That's mm. not you. And they walk away. And it makes me think. So oh over the, over time, I constantly got that from them. You know, I would go and meet them. How far do you think I'm overdoing it? Oh, no, Shay, just be yourself. Do what mm. you do. Don't forget to make mistakes. You can only learn from mistakes. Yeah. And so over the years, I'm trying to be something that I'm not always came back to bite me yeah. in the behind. But being true to myself, I hardly ever have any, any regrets. Mm. So, uh, basically, that's, that's just it. 
Okay. Nice. Hi, Shay. I don't know you from childhood. Adam. So <laughs> there's nothing to brag about, really. Um, but I wanted to touch on, I want you to touch on the NSAS protest because I was there, um, I think, twice or thrice, and I think I saw you actively involved and present. So was it a personal yeah. struggle for you? And would you say um, we have won something? Mm. For me, you know, there's this thing, is it rain fall? This is a quote from Gadoni, the mob says, and I saw it, he said it first. If rain fall, I know touch you, you know, means say rain no fall. Hmm. Sure. You get. And I've heard, I knew I'd been hearing so many people say this fast thing, ah, these people catch you, those people do this. And honestly, I even had um, a close encounter with the I one anti, anti uh, cultist squad in hmm. this um, hmm. uh, that landmark area hmm. where one of them, it was. Me in particular, they just asked to come out of the car. This and then I think maybe one other person, one of them that actually watches TV, I mm. says, Ah, now this guy go big brother, leave and make it they go. So that means if that guy didn't know me, I might have gone to hell. Mm -hmm. You get so I don't know when the next time can be or could have been. And when the stories I'm hearing, they just check your phone, go straight to a text message, you go to your account, balance, see how much you have, and they now start pointing a gun and threatening your life. They would have done it to me and acted like they don't know me. Mm -hmm. And the honest truth is, as you can see, they're not even, I've not even heard any officers' names. Like, I've not seen anybody, any police officer's set of pictures and all that mm -hmm. pasted that these are the people that committed these crimes and these are mm -hmm. what the things they did. And all the people's names mm -hmm. are in petitions. I'm meant to be seeing it in pictures. I'm meant to be seeing it everywhere. So the, the world, Nigeria knows who these people are. Mm -hmm. But it's not there. So imagine if they had harassed me. People will be saying, ah, Omar Ulo, he has connection. There's no Omar Ulo, he has connection there. Okay. They would have used me to do what they want to do before any connection can come to connect. Mm. So do, mm. do you think we yes. got a win? To a certain degree, yes. And to a certain degree more, no. Because okay. with everything that's been going on online, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie, it's just like, it's like a movie. Um, it's, I mean, we, it's we, very, we're very gonna... cheap theatrics. It's like they're just writing scripts yeah. upon scripts to... Yeah. To make we, us seem like we don't know what we wanted or what we were hoping for. Mm. I but, mean, but, people, they saw videos of security personnel or people in truck SUVs mm. telling goons or you suppose, as they call them, goons, uh, to go and attack people. Let, Why? I don't know if Why I need to say people? Yoruba. <laughs> Why are we, let's, not, let's not even probably. agitate anyone because this conversation goes deep. Very but we said on this table and I know actually, every Nigerian yeah. youth feel this, feels the same way. We haven't given up yet. And we're holding on to hope. We are not. Um, but I'm going to hold yeah, so. you for a second. But please stay tuned. Okay. Guys, um, Shay and Gidoni will be right back.